t terminate and this is what you need from the generated code from MATLAB uh, again go to the MathWorks uh, um, site for that extra information uh, but basically um, this is what you need to do um, so in this case uh, as, as, as I've defined it uh, we, we can do a build uh, obviously it's doing a build started um, and then it will generate the new uh, oh in this case it failed for whatever reason um, but it will succeed it will generate a file called um, uh, let me see here okay uh, hello world MATLAB and then if you come under here either in your release or your debug mode um, it will generate your your new DLL and this is what you will need uh, for your uh, target platform again being let's say a, a trading platform be it in uh, Visual Basic or, or so you should say VBNet and C Sharp um, or even um, you know I don't know ASP.NET but uh, let's take a look at the uh, C Sharp now so what we're looking at now is we got the Visual um, C Sharp 2010 Express Edition and this is just a little test uh, C Sharp application where this this will read that DLL um, from within C Sharp so what you need to do is you need to add the reference of the hello world MATLAB DLL um, and you just come in here right click add reference you know basic stuff like that within um, Visual Studio uh, that enables you to um, access the DLL from a C Sharp solution um, also you need to include your using uh, using command method whatever you want to call it within C sharp and then you have to define and instantiate the uh, a session uh, variable or an, or an object uh, and then you do it this way and then once you've defined your little uh, object you can now access that hello world function within your C++ DLL which is right here uh, your hello world uh, function and then you're able to um, you know access your C++ MATLAB generated code as you can see here and you can go hogs wild um, with 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 all that so that's how you tie it all together with the C sharp um, and uh, if, if if I try to build it I hope it doesn't fail like in the last build uh, okay so it succeeded and if I you know if if, if I play it um, as you can see uh, it's gonna return that number that two uh, 10,021 from the DLL so that's what it's returning so it seems to be working just this generation of this DLL uh, for whatever failed um, could be something very simple I didn't include but there you have it that's how you generate um, a MATLAB uh, M file or algorithmic based set of M files convert them through the MATLAB coder through here which I showed you um, and uh, because of that you're able to generate your code and then create uh, from that a DLL from your 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 uh, your your converted code here create a DLL and then you can import that into a C sharp application again being your trading platform um, which seemed a lot of .NET trading platforms are written in at least not for the desktop